In my last video, we unboxed the iPhone 15 Pro, focused on the video qualities and took the phone out on a real world test. The video capabilities of the iPhone 15 Pro were pretty impressive. But this makes me wonder, what about photography? Me and my girlfriend decided to make the last bit of the fall season count. We decided to go on a day trip three hours away from home. I really wanted to push the photography limits of the iPhone 15 Pro with the fall colors. Today's goal is to charge the phone until we get to the destination and then try to push the photography limits without charging the phone and see how long the battery lasts. So we're almost at the location. Um, we'll be there in about 30 minutes. Just did a little pit stop and shortly we'll be at the park and I visit this location yearly every fall. It's like a good way to start the season. I have now unplugged the phone. I have my SSD plugged into the phone. So the phone is now at 94% and it is now two o'clock. We'll probably be done around six o'clock. I think it's gonna end up around 15%. What do you think? Maybe like 20. We'll see. I was literally gonna just film a B-roll of the phone being at nine. Oh, it's 89 now. It was 94 before I filmed it. Now it's at 89%. And I know I said it was two o'clock, but it was like 2.15. I tend to do that a lot. When I have to tell someone what time it is, it's like I look at the time. If, like right now it's 2.23. To me, that's 2.30. I kind of roll down or roll up in random sequences. Just want to show you guys different focal lengths with the iPhone 15 Pro. One thing I notice is how well this phone stabilizes zoomed in, especially at 3x. All right, so this is the phone setup right now. I have my SSD attached to it. I just have a case that I got off Amazon, just a simple case. Um, there's another case on the way. Um, it's a lot more interesting, which we'll talk about, but this is the setup right now. Um, I still have not fixed the dangling thing with the SSD. I figured when the new case comes in, we can then fix it up. So when choosing a location to shoot photos, especially if it's gonna be outdoor stuff, I make sure to not only have a nice view, but I also try to include a subject element into my shots as well. To me, adding a subject element for this case, it may be the boats down there. I think that's gonna make the difference for this photo. It's gonna give that lifestyle element. <laughs> I often get asked if I like video or photo better. Although it's tough to answer that question, I think photo takes the win. I got into video because of photography. Video is just a moving photo. So it's good to master still photography first. I've been pretty bored of photography and video lately. And the reason for that is tools. Camera equipment is heavy, full of manual checks and often mostly unnecessary additions for video. I miss simplicity in the craft. It feels so good creating and worrying about the story. A chunky camera builds a barrier between you and the story. All right, so the phone is at 63% and it's four o'clock. It's been an hour and a half since last time we checked. So shooting some photos, so by the looks of it, I see good amount of dynamic range and, and color depth. I may actually edit some of these shots over my phone, but overall I'm enjoying the dynamic range. We'll see how they turn out. Photos coming out of the iPhone 15 Pro are good, like really good. Yes, it's the story that counts, but your story doesn't have to lack in visual quality. I had a whole different perspective of the photography on an iPhone before diving deep into the features in this video. And let me just say, I was wrong. I will explain my point at the end of this video. I'm back here this year as well. It's a nice little spot. Three years in a row, I've come here to shoot content. And in case you were wondering, these are the built-in filters that the iPhone comes with. I don't think there are new filters with the latest iOS update. And to be fair, I never use these filters. I make my own Adobe Lightroom presets. Alex is just making her own video there. So about the battery, it's uh, it's dying pretty fast and I'm gonna update you guys. Kind of worse than what I expected. It's also really nice being here every year for fall season, but this year has been 
very desaturated not very colorful even though the desaturated look is kind of my style but for fall season i do want to see some color so whenever i do mobile photos part of me and sometimes i do this like subconsciously i just kind of go like this as if i'm shooting through a view screen that happens to you just Remember that you're not the only one. What are you doing? Oh, editing. Uh, I've just uploaded one of the photos to my Lightroom mobile. Just trying to push the colors and see how the colors are applying to the photo. It's actually looking pretty impressive right now. Pretty excited to go home and, and edit these properly. There's a lot of professional grade cameras that don't take color well. These are looking pretty good. We'll see. Okay, now the question is, what is the battery like? So we checked that about 2.30. The battery is now at 17% and it's at six o'clock. All day I've just taken photos, some videos. I haven't been doing that many like social media scrolling because I've just been driving and shooting and that kind of stuff. So just the shooting alone, the phone lasted about three and a half, four hours probably it could push for. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but everyone was wondering what the battery life was like, so here's that. Finished the day off at the park and headed home. I was super excited to go home and start editing these shots. I haven't been this excited about photography in a long time. On the way, we caught the rain and it looks pretty cinematic. All right, so it's the next day. I've edited some of the shots you've seen in this video. And right now I just wanna recap things and dive deep into the photography in the iPhone 15 Pro. So when I was originally planning this video, the title and the whole theme of the video that I had in mind was, was something like iPhone 15 Pro, a way to not so perfect photos. Because I thought technically we were gonna be very limited when it comes to photography with the iPhone 15 Pro. So I thought it's just a cell phone. I mean, how good could it be? Let me tell you something, I was pretty wrong. I knew that the iPhone 15 Pro was gonna bring a certain level of quality when it comes to photos. Because to be honest with you, in my past video, the video capabilities really impressed me. But photography is a whole other level of game. My assumption was that it was just gonna be okay to get by and those shots will be at a standard level, nothing good. After I edited some of these shots, I kind of had to rethink of this idea and film this sequence. This is why I'm here right now telling you that iPhone 15 Pro has an amazing camera when it comes to video and photography. Throughout my edits today, I've noticed how well the iPhone 15 Pro raw images edit. There's a fine line when it comes to editing your photos. Of course, you can set the intensity of your presets and make things look a lot softer and look less edited. And sometimes we do that because the images that we edit simply can't take all the data we put into the image. I've shot everything in RAW Max and JPEG. Take a look at how RAW Max takes the colors versus a JPEG image. The edits look very muddy on JPEGs. So with the DNG files, which is the RAW Max, we are able to take the images to that next level that we want without the edits looking too overdone or too muddy. So edits here are looking really nice. I'm confident that I can take this phone to a lot of my personal shoots and get content for myself. But aside of that, some of the features on the phone are very consumer friendly, like the portrait mode. I don't think I would ever use this mode because the bokeh in the images here, they look like a weird Gaussian blur filter. I just simply have a blur around me and it doesn't look professional and it doesn't look real. And as a professional photographer, I can spot images that have fake cell phone blurs. Bokeh and that lens blur needs to be mechanical. When you do this on software, you can't really add that depth that it requires to make it look real. So it's very consumer friendly, but I don't think I'll use this feature. Here's the thing with the camera on the iPhone 15 Pro. We need to know the limits of this phone. I know this phone is not gonna give me a good realistic depth of field. So I'm not gonna try to get shots that way. You just need to know what to use the phone for. But overall, it's an Apple product, it's consumer friendly. But the reason why I'm so hyped about this phone is because it does carry some professional level features. But you know, there's one thing that is really bad at, the battery life. I have to say, 
it's not good. You can basically run through your battery within four hours of taking photos and some light video. I'm at a point where I haven't even done a lot of scrolling and stuff. So imagine traveling with this phone. Maybe you're at a spot that you don't know. You're running your GPS and you're seeing interesting spots and taking photos. Just be aware that you probably need a charger. Just be prepared if you're gonna be using this phone often and you're not gonna be around the charger and if you're like traveling and taking photos, doing all kinds of other stuff, I recommend you to have a power bank with you. But other than that, overall, I'm really happy with this phone. I really wanted a small device where I can capture some real moments and only carry that small device with me if that's all I want to carry. iPhone 15 Pro definitely does it and it captures things to a good standard where it gives you a lot of room in post-production in both video and photo. There are downsides like the battery but personally I'm usually with my car so I can constantly charge the phone or if I'm traveling I'm okay bringing that extra power bank with me because I probably will have one with me anyways. That is it for this iPhone 15 Pro video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Barry Salkis. If you did enjoy the video press like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.